I was looking back at last year's annual review. My back windscreen wiper on, and I do not know how to turn it off. I think that's it. Um, yeah, I was looking back at last year's annual review, and I did it all in the car um, on the way to Dorchester from my parents' house. <laughs> And so I thought as I've got quite a busy day today I would do it sort of piecemeal some in the car some at home maybe depending on how far I get through it and I usually do it in sections I talk about I'm not going to talk too much about work because I'm going to do the reseller yearly review tag so I will encompass work in that video which you'll see in a couple of days time um, but I talk about various different sections family travel, friends, I can't remember what else but I have made notes at home but I thought I would make a start with this year with family and it's been a year of milestone birthdays in our family. The first one was back in February, William celebrated his 18th and um, it, it, we had a really nice celebration, he just had a low key thing with friends in the um, in a pub in town and lots of his friends came and um, they really enjoy had a nice evening big table I've got some photos of it we went Ashley and I went along as well and um, then afterwards they all came back to our house for a bit of a party um, we bought pizzas and some cider and whatever else they were drinking and it, it was just um, a really fun nice evening I think he really enjoyed it and then a little bit um, about a week later we had a night out with some family and some close long-term friends at the local Indian William bought one his best friend and his girlfriend and that was just a really lovely evening as well so we had two different celebrations for his 18th so that was really nice back in February it's obviously been a big year for Will as well with them um, other bits and pieces he's done his A-levels he worked really hard to get four very good A-levels um, very proud of him and he got a place at Bath Uni he's there currently studying chemistry and has settled in really well absolutely seems to love it he's got a job there as well um, he's currently home for Christmas which is lovely for us and um, yeah all very positive long may it continue in that vein um, then come August it was um, my 50th birthday <laughs> talked about it quite a lot on here I think um, and I didn't want to, I couldn't decide what to do, whether to do a small celebration or a big celebration or anything. And I ended up doing nothing at all. Um, I think I worked on my birthday actually. But very shortly afterwards, Ashley and I went on our annual holiday to the Sunny Resort in Greece and we had a lovely time. So I sort of called that my 50th birthday celebration. Um, so yeah, I, I don't feel like I missed out. It, um, my, where my birthday fell was right in the middle of just A-level results had come out. What, what um, university was up in the air at that point, so there was quite a lot going on. So it was difficult to make any plans really that far in advance. And I, I was very happy not to have a big celebration for that. That was fine by me. Um, very shortly after my 50th birthday in September it was my dad's 80th birthday and we were actually away on his 80th birthday but shortly after that I think it was the end of September um, we had a night away at, or two nights away in Portsmouth one of which was at Spitbank Fort um, off the um, coast of Portsmouth which was a really amazing special place I did make a video about that if I remember I will link it up here it was an absolutely stunning place a real sort of once in a lifetime place to visit and absolutely brilliant for celebrating a milestone birthday it was um, from start to finish a tour of the fort and um, in the hot tub on the top of the fort and what else did we do we had after dinner we had um, a dinner in the officers mess and um, it, just, it was just such an unusual place. The rooms were amazing, and the staff were really brilliant. It was very small and intimate. There was only the six of us and two other couples. Um, and so it, so it felt almost like a house party type of thing. And um, yeah, a very, very special place. A real lovely way to celebrate my dad's 80th. Um, and my dad overall is still in good health. They 
have quite an active social life still, which is nice. Dad a little bit less so, as he, um, it, I think I've mentioned before that he has um, Alzheimer's and dementia. And although he's still in the early stages of it, he is forgetful and, you, you know, you, we can see the signs. But I'd, I'd like to try and talk about the positive aspect of it. He's still in good health. He um, is able to have a laugh, he, you know, although there's a lot of downsides, I try and concentrate on the positives and um, yeah, he's still essentially my dad, which is lovely. Um, my mum's abs, I'm so proud of my mum, how she's dealt with it all. I probably haven't said this to her, <laughs> but she, she watches. So um, she, she's been an absolute trooper having to deal with a very difficult situation and she just gets on with it and I'm, I'm very proud of her. She's done well. Oh, a little bit emotional there. <laughs> Ashley as well, you see him in videos uh, occasionally and a lot of you make nice comments about how funny and um, nice he is. Sorry, a lot of work use of the word nice there, um, which I'm always grateful for. Thank you. And um, we've sort of had to find a new way of, not a new way, that's different, but life has been, been quite different since William went away to university and um, becoming empty nesters has been um, quite interesting. I feel like we've sort of got into the rhythm of it a bit, but it was odd to start with. Um, and, I, and I still can't stop cooking too much when I cook dinner. <laughs> There's always loads of leftovers. But, um, yeah, overall I feel like we've sort of got into the rhythm of that a little bit better now and um, obviously we'll have plenty more time to practice that. <laughs> Moving on to travel, um, it's been a great year for travel. My first trip of the year was with my friend Diane who works for Ashley um, and we went to Las Vegas back in um, April this year. We had the most amazing trip. I was just the best travel companion. And um, again, I will link the video if I can remember, if I remember to do it. Um, ju we just absolutely loved Vegas. We, we squo squeezed every single moment of enjoyment and stuff and filled it all with stuff that, that we wanted to do. It, it was just brilliant. I can't say enough about how good and how good a trip we had. It really was absolutely brilliant. Let me turn down this fan. There we are, that's better. Um, then in May, I think it was, we went to Lisbon with friends, um, just us and another couple, and lovely city, really enjoyed that. We haven't been there before. I had been there before on the ships, but a long, long, long time ago, and I hadn't actually had time to explore much of the city, so um, it was really good. Really recommend that if you're looking for a city break not too far away from home. Um, then we had our big family holiday in July with my parents and my brother and his family and Will. Um, that was to Halkadiki, to the resort was called the Ecos Olivia. Again, I've made a video about that. Um, it, incidentally, that, interestingly, that has recently been voted the top all-inclusive resort in the world on TripAdvisor. I don't know how they come to that conclusion or what they base the um, scoring on, but it was certainly a very nice all-inclusive resort. Um, and yeah, we had a lovely holiday, fantastic weather, very relaxing there. Um, and then of course in September, Ashley and I, we, I've already touched upon this in this video, did our trip to the Sunny Resort, our annual trip. It's almost like going home, going there now. We just absolutely love it. We always have a fantastic time. It's that, I can't say enough good things about it. It's a fantastic place that we've been going to for years and I hope we will continue to go to for many more years. So the next subject on my list is home and um, I usually do a little recap of how we've got on with our renovation of our house but before I start on that I want to answer a question that was left on the comments earlier in the month by one of my subscribers Sharon who's got uh, her own YouTube channel called Cooking with Sharon um, who asked to see the views from our house which I haven't done yet but I will do I will endeavour to do that before the end of vlogmas and um, also asked, she said obviously you live in quite a big house, do you ever wish that you lived somewhere smaller so for the, for the upkeep and so on? And um, 
house six years and we were able to buy it we it, all our houses that we've had throughout the years we've ended up buying or we've bought through Ashley's works they've always been a little bit quirky or a bit special or a big bargain or and this house was sort of a little a mixture of all those three told the story before so I won't go into the lengthy details of it before now but both Ashley and I completely fell in love with it the, the second we saw it we saw it separately and um, I, I just never ever in my wildest dreams believed I would be able to live in a house like that and through a combination of being in the right place at the right time and um, taking a massive financial um, gamble because we bought this house without selling our previous house um, we managed to buy this house and live in it and yes it's incredibly expensive to upkeep it takes a lot of money and a lot of time um, but I think we just both feel so privileged to live there um, in such an amazing location with such it's just a, the perfect house for us it's so perfect that we are prepared to swallow the cost and of course it's an appreciating asset the more work we do on it the more we're increasing the value um, it's worth already about 300 I don't like to talk about figures but it's about 300,000 pounds more than we paid for it so you know that's uh, that's our pension fund really so it it's it's an investment as well as a home it's not a house that will stay in forever I would imagine that in another 10 years time I'm hoping in another 10 years time it will be finished um, and I expect, suspect we will be thinking about moving on at that point because it's not a house we'd stay in forever it's, it's too big just for two people but at the moment we're just enjoying the journey if you like um, back to what we've done to the house this year it's felt a little bit like slow progress I remember saying that last year and I think it is a labour of love we do things slowly and Ashley is a massive perfectionist I said that in last year's video as well so things are if they're not right they're done again uh, whereas I'd be a bit more flexible but you know you have to learn to compromise don't you so um yeah well, this year we've done the main family bathroom right at the beginning of the year and that was followed by my bedroom and dressing room um both of which you've seen um very pleased with the outcome of both of those we're thinking that the next job uh, there's two big major jobs to do still one is the kitchen and lounge which is going to be a massive one and the next one is the um, front of the house we're rebuilding the entrance and the front of the house and the top balcony I think the next one is going to be the kitchen so I'm bracing myself for that because having your kitchen redone is never fun let's be honest is it but um, that will be a real transforming but when I think about how far we've come in five years and what we've got done it's amazing really um, so Although I do get frustrated by slow progress, I am quite an impatient person, so I need to learn to um, just just be a little bit more patient, really. A slight change of background for this last bit, as I'm no longer in the car. But you'll have noticed that already, I'm sure, because you're not daft. Um, <laughs> The other bit I must mention about home, which I forgot to mention earlier, was that we had quite a lot of work done in the back garden this year. I haven't taken you to see it. I'm not sure if I've shown the very back bit of the garden in any of my videos ever because it's up some steep steps and we don't go up there an awful lot. But um, we had a lot of work done out there. We are making a tequila bar at the top of the garden, a little Mexican tequila bar. Well, that's the plan anyway. Whether it will ever pan out or not, I don't know. Um, but a lot of preparation work took, par took place this year before the builder had to go off and do other stuff. And um, yeah, that was, that was another thing that we did this year in sort of housewise. Um, Another section that I usually talk about on this video is YouTube, how things have been on YouTube this year. Um, again, I'm going to leave that for the moment because I plan to do a little, on the very last day of Vlogmas, the video that you'll see on the 24th, Christmas Eve, um, I'm going to do, tell you a little bit about how my YouTube channel is going to look next year, what I'm planning to do. Um, so I'll, I'll leave that whole thing until that video and then have a little review of 
how it's gone this year in that video as well um I think the final section that I haven't talked about is friends. Um, it's been a good year for friends. I've done lots of fun things with different friends. Um, we've made some new friends, some couple friends. And um, I've sort of cemented some of my reselling friendships and made a couple of more new friends. I've kept my friend Carrie, who I've met through my YouTube channel, who was originally a viewer. Um, and we meet up for coffee quite often now, which is lovely. Um, so she's a new friend that has come through YouTube and um, so yeah, all well in the area of friends and sort of social life this year. Right, I think that's it. I think I've pretty much summed up everything I wanted to talk about. I'm getting to the stage of Vlogmas where it's, I don't want to pick up the camera anymore, it's getting harder. So <laughs> not, not I don't want to, that's wrong. I, by this stage obviously I want to get, I want to make it to the finish line so to speak but once I've got the day's video wrapped up for the video wrapped up for the day and I know that I don't have to talk to the camera anymore I'm getting to the stage of vlogmas now where it's a relief to get to that stage of the day so without further ado I'm going to close this review of 2018 um it's been a good year happy to get to the end of it um healthy and happy and enjoying life still who could ask for more? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.